Hello, I am starting my five day adventure here at uh, in the mountains in Colorado. I hope you can join me. I really, it started out really stressful and I'm gonna tell you why here shortly. Welcome to Spirit Forest. This is my land in the mountains where I go to to get away from the city and all the noise and I can just be home. So I always ask you guys to come along. Um, you're gonna find out why I was stressed. You see that white stuff right there? <laughs> yes, it snowed, it snowed. Are you kidding me? Uh, you know, I told you I put up the tent a little earlier this year. And uh, yeah, it snowed. And it snowed about three days ago. So much that the road was closed and I couldn't come up here. I was planning on coming up here and checking on the tent and uh, making sure that it was okay. If you guys remember, my tent can only handle three inches. Three. It snowed six to seven inches here. So I was really nervous to get here. In fact, I worked really early this morning to get my projects done. Um, I called up my supervisor and basically said, I, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta get up there. So we are here and I thought the tent was gonna be completely collapsed and ripped. I brought tools and such so that I might be able to fix the tent. But, look at my baby. Ah, oh, she's still up. She's still up. Yay! Now, I got here um, before you got here, so I went ahead and took a lot of the snow off. Ironically, where the snow stayed was on the south side of my tent. Um, it was drooping. You can see, you can see her drooping a bit. You see that? Yeah, I think it stretched her out a little bit. This is some heavy snow. If you get snow in the spring, it is heavy, heavy snow. And so I thought for sure it was broken. In fact, there's still just part of me that's wondering what the damage might be and that maybe I just don't see it yet. <sighs> but I'm happy. Like, I was seriously stressed, you guys. Like, I was stressed. This is an expensive tent and it can't, and I know it couldn't handle that much. Um, so the snow just slid down and you see where I tie it up over here and I'm going to show you kind of a close-up of what it was right when I arrived and I removed some of the snow. Um, my water barrel, I don't know if it just got windy or it was just too much snow, but um, the little um, spigot or spout thing that the water comes out of wasn't in, on top of the hole. <laughs> so I didn't collect any water off all this storm. But um, my tent is up, and that's, that's really important. I brought an extra tent just in case. Just in case it wasn't up, I'd be spending the, my five days fixing this thing and, uh, and then figuring out how to put it back up. But I don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Five days here. Five days, I hope you join me. I hope you do, because I plan on doing a bunch of stuff. I'm taking you guys along. Um, I don't know how many videos I'm gonna create. I really have, I only have a couple videos planned that I know for sure, but but I want you to come with me, you know, because it makes it so I'm not alone, because I'm here all by myself. I'm here by myself in my really dirty tent. <laughs> if you see over here, look at look at this, this is just mud. Um, yeah, this is, it's a mess. That's not all shadow. Like, this is, this is dirt. And you can see, see how much she's drooping right there? She didn't used to droop that much. So, I'm going to fix it a little bit, what I can. And try to make her look pretty again. And uh, get everything all situated so it looks like home again. I was just here four days ago. I left for four days and the storm came. It was crazy. I got drenched trying to take all this snow off the tent too. I got drenched. But it's warm. It's uh, like 52 degrees. That is warm here. I like it. Okay. So let's, uh, 
Let me get this thing looking a little prettier. I'm soaked like I said earlier I'm just soaked from from removing all that snow it all dripped on me and stuff but uh, a good thing that look at I'm wearing appropriate shoes <laughs> no I actually have to change those out I gotta put my hiking shoes back on um, because you remember in my last video I said I was gonna chop a bunch of wood so next time I'm out here I'll have a lot, lot of nice wood all chopped I I forgot to do that. Do you notice that? That wasn't in the video? <laughs> yeah, um, I'm a little low. So I think I went through that one night. I went through like, oh, I think it was like eight logs. I got a little crazy. I got a little crazy. I got the tent a little, probably a little too hot. But uh, so I'm going to chop some wood, but it's probably not a good idea to chop wood in flip flops. So I am going to get on that. I got to bring my food and everything here into my kitchen area. I love it. I love like summertime, even though there's snow on the ground. This is probably going to melt in a couple days. So enjoy looking at it now because it will melt here. If it's not going to melt all today, it's going to melt um, probably by tomorrow. It is going to get up to the 60s, which means I can wear shorts. Ah, I brought shorts. I'm so excited. Um, the hiking trails, though, have a ton of snow on them. Like, I see them. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to climb those mountains over there. And they got a ton of snow on them. So, we'll just play it. We'll play it by ear, see how it goes. Um, I got some ideas of where I want to go. Some of them I have a trail map to, some of them I don't, and I'll just use a compass. I honestly don't want to unpack. <laughs> I just want to like celebrate, and I have no one to celebrate with because my tent's up. My tent's up. So I'm, I'm celebrating with you right now. <laughs> Like, I don't want to unpack. You don't realize, like, I was seriously freaking out. I had, the, like, the weather channel um, on my screen the whole day, and there was nothing I could do because I had to work, and then by the end of the day, the roads were closed, and people were sliding off the roads. It got really, got really nasty out there, so, or out here. Um, I just wonder what it was like. What was it like here in that tent in a blizzard? Or it wasn't a blizzard, it was just, it was a lot of snow. A lot of snow. <sighs> well, you don't, need to, you don't need to sit there and watch me just smile. But I'm celebrating with you. Because I'm happy my tent is up. Yay! I think I need to find someone to call. <laughs> I need to call someone. <laughs> I'm going to unpack my car and stop procrastinating. Maybe I'll show you some stuff that I brought. Because I brought some activities. You know, when you're sitting in the mountains by yourself, it does get a little, I don't know, I don't get bored really often, but you know, you just got to keep yourself entertained. So I got some 
some entertaining stuff for me. Um, and I'll show you. Okay, see you in a bit. Cutting wood is really tiring. <laughs> uh, I got, I went through like six logs or so, something like that. I got a lot more to do. I'm a little out of shape. I haven't been out here in a while, you know, so got to get my muscles moving again. Um, so I have enough firewood for tonight, but I'd like to get enough firewood for the five days I'm here. That's probably not going to happen. I'm, I'm probably just going to have to chop and burn the same day. I think that's what's going to end up happening. But whenever I'm sitting down and I'm bored, I'm just going to chop wood. Okay, so I'm hot because it's like, it was chilly when it, before I was chopping, but it, what do they say? Fire warms you three times, cutting it, chopping it, and burning it. Is that right? Is that right? Anyways, okay. And uh, Arthur, yes, I know, I'm wearing Kyla's belt, and that is because... Um, the other belt was, the buckle was, it was, anyways. That's for you, Arthur, and you know who you are. And I like her belt, and I asked her for permission. I have a bunch of tents behind me. I have had a ton of tents donated to Spirit Forest, and I have some that I have purchased as well. And so I was thinking this weekend, I'm going to put up every one of my tents. I wouldn't be known as a tent lady here soon, but the reason why I need to put them up is that I have classes and the people that are going to be taking my classes, they might want to use one of my tents. It's getting windy, so I'm sorry if it's really windy on the camera, but it's getting pretty windy. Um, but I have classes that I do. I do wilderness classes for ladies and some of them are going to be borrowing a tent. And so I want to make sure that all the parts are inside the bag. The last thing I want to do is take them out on the trail and I don't have any tent poles in the bag. So that's why I have these tents here and we're going to put them up. I thought about I'd put them up at home or put them up here. So I brought them up here to put them up here. And I thought of a really cool idea is that maybe for seven days straight every day I shoot a video of me putting up a tent. I mean, I'm going to shoot the videos this weekend, but you're, you're coming up is going to be a whole week. It's going to be like tent week, you know, tent week at Spirit Forest. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tents to put up. And this one, this one I think is missing poles. And that's my own tent. And that's the one that Madison and I are going to be using. Maybe I, maybe I packed it in the car or something. But, uh, yeah. What was it 11 tents? Seven days? And I'm going to put it around Spirit Forest. I'm going to keep it up for a couple days just to kind of see how they do. Um, we are expecting some rain while I'm going to be here. And I'm sure as people drive by, they're going to think I'm having a party here because there's 11 tents up on my property. <laughs> I'm not alone. I got 11 tents here. Okay, so you're going to be seeing those videos um, soon. And as you, this video goes and the days go on from here, this video, you're going to see tents in the background. And that is the reason why I'm talking about it now is because you're going to see a bunch of tents here. And that is why. And I'm sure you're going to be asked a lot of questions on that in the comments. But um, if you see a comment like that, if you could answer it for me, that'd be great. That's another thing that reminds me. Um, I'm here and I don't have internet. I love your comments. So comment below. And when I get back to the city, what I'm going to do is like every two weeks or every once a week, I'm going to go through and I'm going to scan through all the comments. And I put a little heart on it so you know I read it. Um, that's, that's kind of what my plan is because again, I don't have internet here. I do get your comments every once in a while on my phone. So I don't have any data, but for some reason, every once in a while, I'll get a comment on my phone as an alert when I'm not on airplane mode and I get to 
I don't know, I get to see what you guys are saying. And I think it's really cool. It kind of motivates me while I'm here. So put a comment below. Maybe maybe your comment's the comment that I read when I'm here. <laughs> you know? So that'd be a lot of fun. <sighs> the birds are going crazy. It's springtime and they're in love. That's really cute, watching them. Okay, so I'm going to get some more stuff done. I think I'm going to chop some more wood. And now, see, now I'm cold again. It's all about layers here in Colorado. All about layers. I'll see you in a bit. It's getting pretty cold now. Pretty chilly. So, um, I'm in my kitchen area because I don't know if I'm going to make dinner tonight, but uh, I'm not really that hungry. But I want to put up my tarp just in case I wake up in the morning and it's raining. Uh, so that way when I'm cooking, this is where, this is the table that I cook on. So that way when I'm cooking, it's not raining right on me. So I'm going to put up a tarp right here. You'll see this in future videos too. So I'm just showing you in this video in case you wonder if I keep it up all the time. No, every time I come out here, I put it up and every time I leave, I take it down. And uh, this one I think is a newer one. Let me see. They last about a year and a half, I would say. About a season and a half. And then they're then they're done. These are the same tarps, tarps that I provide my my uh, students in my class. Um, I really like this brand tarp. It's it's cheap. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. But it's cheap and it does the job. But again, only last about one and a half seasons or so. So I'm going to put this up and make it so that we have a little roof in our kitchen just in case it starts to rain. Okay, I have the tarp up. It works. I've been doing this for now three years, putting up a tarp all the time. Every time I come up here, you get really good at tying a tarp. Now, this tarp, the, where it's at right now, is perfect for me. I am five foot five. I am not that tall. So, if you're six foot, uh, you might be touching the top. But you know what? It's just me here anyway, so I don't really care. <laughs> but what I do have people come over and they visit, they're like, whoa. And I'm like, hey, you want it taller? If you're tall, if you're so tall, hit your head, feel free to climb up this tree a little bit and get the tarp up more. <laughs>
It's so warm in here. <laughs> the fire is going. And uh, yeah, what was it? Like 90 degrees in here? <laughs> but it's on this side of the tent. I know that my um, my little temperature gauge is over kind of by the, the actual um, stove. But I think over here, it's, it's probably like 70. It feels so nice to be warm. I'm loving this. I really am. I'm loving this. And I am so tired and it's only 8.30. And I was going to show you everything I brought, things to entertain me. And I'm too tired. Because <laughs> I woke up so early to get here so that I could like check on the tent. Because I literally thought that the tent was going to be like destroyed. Um... And I'd have to like try to, I even brought like my drill and I thought I'd gonna have to like screw the tent poles back together and stuff like that, you know, so, so I'm so tired. So I'm gonna say goodnight. So I'm gonna end this video cause I'm just too tired. <laughs> And and my lighting's not good anyways right now. Never really at night is it good in the tent and um, it makes it kind of hard to kind of hard to film inside the tent at night but uh, I have my lights back here behind my bed I love that and I I seriously I think I fell asleep for a little bit I think I did I think I fell asleep and uh, and then remembered I had my camera outside to take pictures of the sunset <laughs> and now it's just dark outside um, but uh, Anyways, I'm going to go to bed. So I don't know if this was a short video or not, but I'll just I'll uh, I'll see you in the next video, which will be me waking up and I hope to go hiking and such tomorrow. Um I'm going to be I was planning on before I go to bed to look at the trail maps and see which trail I want to go on, but I think I'm just going to go to bed. I'm tired. Um I wanted to show this off though. This is a a gift I got from a friend. And uh, it's a Lucy light. Ooh, that's kind of scary, isn't it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a Lucy light that like flickers like a flame. And that it's like a candle. Because really, on a fire ban. Oh, it's out of focus again. It's coming. It's coming. I know it is. It's thinking about it. Um, and a fire ban, I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to have candles, even though I'm inside a tent. But I don't think I'm supposed to have candles on a, um, in a fire ban. And I know it's coming. It's coming. As much as it's snowing and raining and everything like that. But, isn't this nice? Isn't this pretty? I want another one. <laughs> They're so, it's so cool. And it has, it has different settings to it too, like they all do. Oh, it's a brighter setting. For those that you don't that don't know and are new to my channel, I'm like obsessed with those Lucy lights. Um, I see my battery's blinking now too. My phone's gonna go to or my camera's gonna go to sleep. So I'm gonna say goodnight and I will see you on the next video. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you join me tomorrow when I go um, I go hiking. I don't know when that video is going to post, but just check the next video because that's going to be me hiking and waking up here in the morning. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.